Hi guys, it's Belle here. I'm coming on with a bit of a different video today. It's going to be um, a flip through of this mermaid themed naked journal and ephemera pack. Um, for those of you new to the channel or, or new to journaling, I should say, um, or who don't know what a naked journal is, is basically a journal that is completely undecorated normally doesn't have pockets or anything like that it's just literally the cover and the inside pages um, they're really good for people who want to decorate their own journal or use journals to write in or are using it for some other thing um, that may be difficult if it's too over decorated so the reason I'm sharing this with you today is as of filming this, I have officially reached 500 subscribers. I am blown away, guys. I never thought when I started this channel I would get 100 subscribers, let alone 500. Um, so I cannot tell you how grateful and thankful I am. Um, for every single one of you that clicks subscribe, that clicks like, that le takes time to watch the videos, takes time to comment on them, and who purchases one of my um, journals, I am so grateful to every single one of you. So I have decided to do a giveaway. It is my first giveaway, uh, so I'm a little nervous, um, and I will tell you the details of the giveaway a bit later in the video i just want to share um the prize i suppose with you first so this is evie as i said um it is a naked journal and ephemera kit i wanted to make something a bit different um and as you can see there's lots of bits on the front it's held together by this really, really pale green uh, ribbon, organza ribbon, that can be used to hold the journal together. Let me show you the front. So the outer cover is actually um, a window envelope and there's two pockets on the front and two pockets on the back and that's what holds all the ephemera it's got canvas down the edge here just to strengthen it the pockets are actually sewn on so in the front here we have this lovely little um, tag it's a die cut um, seahorse and I've inked it in different colors and then um, embossed it to give it this sort of glossy sea like feel and there's some lovely blue yarn at the top you get a hand dyed uh, tea stained index card um, i've used mainly scrapbook paper and vintage music paper in this rather than digitals there's a couple of digitals but i wanted to do something a bit different and i know not everyone has um, access to um, digitals and things there's these pearl embellishments i've used these kind of embellishments all throughout and there is an embossed um, starfish the embossed stamped images in here are actually an embossed powder color that i've made myself so it's a mix of three to four different colors um, and then the stitching so obviously i don't usually do quite pretty pastel -y kind of journals my main type of journals are gothic or spiritual or nature um, but I wanted to give the stamped and the fabric feel and things like that just because that's kind of my signature. Um, so this is a large tag. You've got stitching again. You've got this stamped mermaid image that's embossed in my um, embossing powder creation. Vellum, scrapbook papers. It's got this gorgeous embellishment on the top, which is actually on the front of the um packet as well it reminded me of a clam so that's why it's on there backed in tea stain paper so you've got those you've got a large journaling card i don't know if you can see i hope it picks up but the scrapbook paper down here has this it's a sea wave paper and it has this gorgeous metallic sheen to it um, and then this is a digital image i had in my stash another mirrored embellishment and um 
tea stain down the back beautiful fabric up there and then you have this large envelope uh, with a mermaid die cut again a bit of bling and pearl and again another embossed image of like an oyster shell in my embossing powders and then that just opens up so on the front large journaling card envelope large tag index card and smaller tag and then you can see now there's a pocket here there's a vellum pocket there there's this fabric and lace embellishment and just through here the window you can see the journal I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to do all the ephemera first. On the back, we have the first thing you have is this altered paper clip. This is a fabric altered paper clip. Again, got a pearl beaded embellishment, um, some sari silk and lace at the top. The other side of it is this cute, again, inked and um, embossed seahorse, and it just goes over the page. So you've got it on both sides then there is a cd sleeve um an altered cd sleeve you've got again a mermaid some scrapbook paper some more bling i really love all this look um vintage music paper you can just see the card throughout i've left this bit white i have inked the top because i didn't know how it would go in the journal i've left this bit white again whoever wins this could do whatever they like with it or right on the back of it and then you've got this journaling card that's in there with that gorgeous metallic wave paper and um mat and layered of different scrapbook paper and vellum stitched on and again another stamped image it goes there a little mermaid tag that i had in my stash that's metallic -y as well another tag with a gorgeous seahorse stamp that again is embossed some more bling down there some lace and canvas topper and there's a little mermaid charm hopefully you can see that just there and again back to a tea stain paper a blue index card that i've embossed with this it looks like waves to me so that's why i used it and then i've just gone over it with purple um, distress ink just to pick up some of the detail and then the last piece is a large index card this one goes horizontally the other one went vertically more scrapbook paper this is a digital image and again some bling and lace and bits there stitched around a tea stain on the back so in the backs the last journaling card the index card the tag the little mermaid tag the altered CD sleeve with um, journaling card inside and the altered paper clip. So that goes on the back and you can see here it's a double vellum pocket because I just love that fish and it kind of reminded me of it looking like it was under the sea. So and it's all stitched on. And then inside is the actual journal. Um, so that goes to one side. And this is Evie. I did name her even though she's a naked journal because again that's one of my kind of I don't know trademarks I, I name my journals um so the cover you've got canvas going down the edge that um picks up on the canvas on the outside you've got another beautiful beaded embellishment lace this gorgeous blue fabric and the beautiful image of a mermaid there I just love that image um, and then the back so is a starfish paper. The edges do, even though it's a naked journal, it's one of my journals. So I did have to put some fabric and bits on the side and a few charms because I just have to. There is a pocket in this one in the front. So front pocket with some of this, again, metallic wave scrapbook paper, vellum pocket. And I just put a pocket in there so I can put my um, tag and um, her name, Evie. Some vintage music paper. So although it's completely undecorated, I've tried to use lots of different types of papers and things to give the journal some interest without actually decorating. Uh, tea stain paper and some pom-pom trim on the edge there 
some cute seahorse scrapbook paper, some tea stained um, vintage graph paper, some hand dyed paper I had in my stash. I didn't dye this, it's kind of a greeny blue, um, and some lace trim there. Some of my ink um, paper. I have fun when I make those. Some hand dyed, tea stained, um, lined paper. A doily. Some of my blue dyed paper. Some more cute uh, scrapbook paper that is um, Mermaids. Uh, we have this tea stain paper that has this beautiful trim on the side. It's pearls and golds and this beautiful sort of blue. And there's this um, large bead that dangles off it. Hopefully that's in thing. Some more vintage music paper. Some more hand dyed paper there that's kind of a greyish blue. Uh, you've got some light green vellum here that has this beautiful... Um, holographic vine if um, motif throughout that kind of reminded me of being under the sea some uh, just some paper that I got from a pad recently it's a Japanese pad some hand dyed paper uh, another fabric tab there tea stain paper hand dyed paper scrapbook paper another pretty um, blingy tab there and it's in the center you've got this scrapbook paper now although the journal is tied tight um, so it's tight this won't come out I have left these really long and tied them into a bow so that whoever gets this could if they wanted either leave it as a bow trim it or add beads to the edge. I obviously couldn't put beads on it because it wouldn't have fitted within the envelope itself. But if I've left it for whoever gets this to sort of do as they want with that. Um, some lace there and this light blue glass bead dangle on there. See the side of that scrapbook paper. Hand dyed paper. Let's bring this down. A beautiful large um blingy pearl embellishment there some more hand dyed paper so as i said i've tried to um leave lots of uh interest with the papers inside even though it's um a naked journal some more tab there and a large purple bead dangle a bead the paper and there my inked paper a gorgeous purple satin and um, that i frayed so you can see the gold underneath tab there and just here there is a little um let's get it this way around a little mermaid charm i hope it's picking up all the details paper scrapbook and obviously it wouldn't be one of my journals without some sari silk in this beautiful mottled dyed sari silk that i had in my stash music paper and there is the back of it so starfish on this side beautiful shells on that side and that is evie so yeah you get evie all the embellishments and ephemera that you can use in your kit and then I decided to put together a little um, scrap pack I suppose to um, that whoever wins this can use to decorate this journal with or decorate more ephemera with so in here you've got two I'm gonna go through this quickly two little cards some mermaid and shell washi die cut with dolphin some yarn blue yarn some of this gorgeous light blue sparkly um, ribbon uh, i've included lots of little scrap bits of cards because i love these i make ephemera out of them small pockets small tags um if 
page ephemera, all sorts. So I decided to put those in there. I've put together a little pack um, of die cuts. So you've got some mermaid die cuts, seahorse. You've got some sea themed stamps, some other kinds of die cuts and stamps. I've put in a couple of my, um, oh, can't get it out now. The mermaid's holding on to it. Stamped and embossed images as well. There is also a couple of little bead dangles in there and also a mermaid charm. I'm not going to get everything out because there's a lot. It'd be nice to have a little surprise. There are some little digital bits that I had in my stash. So I just put those in as well because they'd be great to go on journaling cards or using collage for whoever gets this. There's a little mermaid sticker pack. There's two embossed pieces of card. This one has like a metallic sheen and this goes from a purple to a white. These are in here just to give you some ideas. You could collage with this. You could put an image over the front because you can write on the back. So they could be journaling cards. You can make them into pockets. You can use the joke or the um, quote there in your journal as you're journaling. So I wanted to put them in because they said blue and, you know, uh, blue index card a memory pocket this is a june one because you know june's the start of summer i use these a lot and they're great to put memories in and collage a gorgeous um beaded mermaid sticker embellishment pack these are just so pretty in real life a blue bag that i use a lot of these in my journals as well it can be painted over you can use white gesso to tone it down you can collage on top of it whoever gets this can do as they want and there's some vintage pieces here's a vintage uh dictionary page and it actually has the word c and seal on there which is why i picked it there's this old magazine page it does have something else on the back but i just love these rocks and see i thought they'd work well in the journal this is from a vintage encyclopedia just love that image and here some vintage music paper because i use a lot of music paper and it picks up the music that i've used throughout the ephemera and the journal this is from a vintage annual you've got the turtle it says along a tropical shore and a coral reef on the back just the images are beautiful and then i also included some larger scrapbook papers because i thought they'd be great to use as make into pockets or tags or journaling cards or ephemera or whatever the person who wins this decides to do with it so yeah so the main prize is obviously the journal and ephemera kit, but you also get this little package alongside it. Um, so here we go. So how to um, be entered for the giveaway. Firstly, you have to be subscribed here on my channel. Um, and I will be checking. And secondly, I want you to tell me in the comments which one of the journals I've made already that I've got I've got videos of on this channel has been your favourite of mine. Um, just let me know in the comments. You can let me know either by giving me the name of the journal or just the journal itself, like the style of the journal. Um, yeah, this is going to be open for a week. So this, when I post this video, will be Monday the 12th so um it will probably be the sunday i think i don't know the days it'll be the sunday after the 12th so 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 so sunday the 18th of july is when i'll be picking the winner and i will let you know in the comments down below if you are the lucky winner so there we go so again how to enter you have to be subscribed to my channel and you have to let me know in the comments down below which is one of your favourite journals of mine that I've made so far. Um, I have made another mermaid journal before but I don't actually have a video of it because it was a Dark Siren video of 
journal and I hadn't got my YouTube then. So I will leave a link in the video uh, flip through that the recipient of that siren journal did um, if you're interested in checking that out. And one last thing, I was just wondering, I really loved putting this naked journal and ephemera pack together. I was just wondering if anyone would be interested in seeing a few packs like this in my Etsy. Not necessarily a mermaid one, but, you know, maybe an autumn one or a Halloween one or a Christmas one. Um, yeah, just something like this where it's the naked journal and the um, ephemera pack that comes with it of these. So let me know about that down in the comments uh, below as well. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you so much for all of you who've subscribed. And whether you've been with me from the beginning or a new subscriber, each one of you, I deeply appreciate. Um, and yeah, good luck to you all. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you are happy and having lots of crafty fun. And I will be back again soon. Bye, guys.